Hi, I'm Kevin, a speech language pathologist here at Super Duper Publications. And this is the Weber Inferencing Big Deck, and it's designed for children kindergarten and up. Now to infer, what we're talking about is being able to look at clues in a situation and figure out what is happening. Now with this big deck of cards, we have 100 large 5 by 7 color photo cards and we have 6 follow-up questions to help children improve their inferencing skills. Now if we take a look at the box, we have an introduction card and then we have two game ideas. So this way you're going to have two pages of game ideas so you can have a variety of activities during your lessons. Now let's take a look at their 5 color-coded topic cards, or excuse me, topic areas included with this deck. Each one has a content card. This is the content card for associations, and that's just going to be these items belong to. Then we have identify the setting, so where is this? Part to whole, what is it? Then this card is going to be predicting what happens next, and then of course, what happened. Now each of these topic areas are color coded. We have dividers in between the cards so they're easy to find and use during your sessions. So let's take a look at a few examples of just a few of the sections. This would be for associations. Now the way we're gonna use this card deck is we're gonna show the student the picture on the front and then we're gonna ask question one. You'll notice on the back we have our story and then our six questions. So to begin, we show the student the picture and ask item number one. These items belong to blank. And the student is going to fill in who they think these items belong to. And then for additional inferencing and language practice, we can read the short story at the top and then ask the five remaining questions. So for example, Johnny was a little nervous. He knew his teammates were counting on him. He picked up his bat and stepped up to the plate. Question number two, what else does a baseball player use? Where does a baseball player play? Why does a baseball player use a helmet? And how does a baseball player score a run? So the student will provide those answers to each of those questions based on what they believe would be the association to the story. And then of course, question number six, you can use this last question to open up just a general discussion about the student's opinions or feelings or how they would handle the situation or what they would do in a specific situation that we just talked about. Now let's move on, let's say, let's look at predicting. Again, with predicting, we're gonna show the picture on the front and then ask question one. Question one reads, what happens next? And the student can answer based upon what they see in the picture. Then we'll read the short story and ask the other questions. Nikki sat down at the table with her cup of coffee. She picked up the paper and started to read. She didn't know Scruffy was nearby. Question two, who was reading the paper? Three, where is Nikki's toast? Four, why didn't Nikki see Scruffy? Five, how will Nikki feel when she finds out Scruffy took her toast? And then number six, what do you like to eat for breakfast? And then moving on, let's go to what happened. So for this, again, we're gonna show a picture and ask the first question, which is, what happened? So the student, again, can look at the picture for clues to try to determine what happened. Then we'll read the story. Carmen was so excited. It wasn't the car of her dreams, but at least she wouldn't have to ride the bus anymore. She was very happy. Question two, who is excited? Three, where is Carmen? Four, why is Carmen excited? Five, how did Carmen get around before she had a car? And then of course, number six, to open the discussion, what kind of car would you like to have? So you see, these are just a few of the examples of the inferencing cards and as well as the different topic areas that involve increasing students' 
inferencing skills, and language skills. If you'd like to learn more about this or any of our other card decks, please visit our website, superduperinc.com, and even check out our Facebook page. We would love for you to share your thoughts and ideas on how you could use these products with your students.